First pictures of the death of a United Nations officer described by colleagues as the bravest man in his outfit. Captain Ubey Diagni, a liaison officer, died on the front line of this divided city, killed by shrapnel from a shell that landed close to his car. A shell fired, according to a preliminary investigation, by Tutsi rebels. An attack which led the UN to suspend operations in Kigali for 24 hours. We have tried to uh, talk to both sides. Every day we do it to stop the shooting, stop the firing, so that we can continue with this humanitarian assistance program. They just don't seem to be listening. With peacekeeping operations restarted, UN workers resumed food deliveries to thousands of civilians trapped in the Rwandan capital. Around Kigali, the number of refugees fleeing the fighting has increased since Rwandan rebel and army commanders agreed that people must be free to move. Most have nowhere to go to. Meanwhile, reports of mass killings continue. The United Nations says it's unable to confirm that 500 refugees were massacred in this camp, seen recently, a refuge mainly for Tutsis 30 miles from Kigali. UN investigators who visited the camp found only a few bodies, but the UN confirmed that people are taken from the camps each day and are killed. Rebel forces have vowed to fight on until the massacres end. For the UN, flying home Captain Diagne's body, there seems little likelihood at the moment of finding any form of lasting peace.